Welcome back, my fellow seekers of knowledge and truth. Today, we embark on a journey into the depths of the human mind, as we delve into the fascinating world of cult psychology. Get ready to unlock the secrets of manipulation and understand how it can lead to criminal acts. I'm your host, and together, we'll explore this topic with a sense of curiosity, empathy, and the unwavering belief that knowledge is power. So, sit back, relax, and let's begin. Imagine a young man named Alex, who, in his search for meaning and purpose, stumbled upon a charismatic leader promising salvation. This leader claimed to have all the answers, captivating Alex's vulnerable heart and mind. Slowly but surely, the leader's influence grew, weaving a web of manipulation and control around Alex and his fellow followers. Ultimately, this story took a tragic turn, as the group was led to commit heinous acts, blinded by their devotion. Now, you might wonder, how does this happen? How can seemingly rational individuals be swayed to the point of criminal behavior? To answer these questions, let's turn to the extensive research on cult psychology. Research Point 1. Vulnerability and Manipulation. Studies have shown that individuals who find themselves vulnerable, whether due to personal crises, loneliness, or a deep yearning for connection, are more susceptible to falling prey to manipulative tactics employed by cult leaders. These charismatic figures often exploit these vulnerabilities to gain control over their followers' thoughts and actions. They offer a sense of belonging, purpose, and security, using carefully crafted techniques to manipulate the mind. Let's delve deeper into the fascinating research surrounding vulnerability and manipulation in the context of cult psychology. Numerous studies have highlighted the correlation between vulnerability and susceptibility to manipulation by cult leaders. When individuals are experiencing personal crises, such as a loss of a loved one, financial instability, or a sense of purposelessness, they often find themselves in a state of emotional distress. During such vulnerable periods, the yearning for connection and belonging becomes more pronounced. It is during these moments that charismatic cult leaders seize the opportunity to offer solace and a sense of purpose to those who are desperately seeking it. They present themselves as the answer to their followers' prayers, promising a community where they will be understood, accepted, and supported. Cult leaders have a remarkable ability to identify and exploit these vulnerabilities. They are adept at manipulating their followers' emotions, preying upon their fears and insecurities. By understanding the unique struggles and desires of their potential recruits, these charismatic figures tailor their messages and techniques to provide what individuals crave most, a sense of identity and belonging. Through carefully crafted tactics, cult leaders create an illusion of unity and acceptance. They foster an environment where individuals feel heard, valued, and part of something greater than themselves. This manipulative process often involves love bombing, where followers are showered with excessive affection, attention, and praise. Such tactics capitalize on the basic human need for social connection and validation. Furthermore, these manipulative leaders employ persuasive techniques to instill a deep sense of loyalty and dependence on the group. They may use techniques such as mirroring, where they mimic their followers' behaviors and preferences, creating a false sense of familiarity and understanding. By doing so, they establish an emotional connection and reinforce the belief that they are uniquely attuned to their followers' needs. It is crucial to note that vulnerability itself is not a weakness but rather a human condition that can be exploited when individuals are in a fragile state. Understanding this dynamic is essential for preventing manipulation and protecting oneself and others from falling victim to cults. Research has shown that building resilience and fostering a supportive network can act as protective factors against manipulation. By developing a strong sense of self, healthy coping mechanisms, and cultivating healthy relationships, individuals can fortify themselves against the tactics used by cult leaders. By shedding light on the relationship between vulnerability and manipulation, we empower individuals to recognize their own vulnerabilities and approach them with compassion and self-care. Additionally, by raising awareness about the tactics employed by cult leaders, we equip individuals with the knowledge needed to identify and resist manipulation. Remember, each of us possesses the strength and resilience to overcome vulnerability and make choices that align with our values. By promoting empathy, critical thinking, and a sense of community, 
we can create a society where manipulation finds no fertile ground. Together, we can build a world that nurtures the inherent potential within every individual and protects against the harmful influences of cult psychology. Welcome back. In our previous segment, we explored the fascinating link between vulnerability and manipulation in the context of cult psychology. We discovered how charismatic cult leaders exploit vulnerabilities to gain control over their followers' thoughts and actions. But our journey doesn't end there. In this segment, we will dive deeper into the power of indoctrination and how it plays a pivotal role in leading individuals towards criminal acts. So, let's continue our exploration with Research Point 2, The Power of Indoctrination. Research Point 2, The Power of Indoctrination. Cult leaders are masters of indoctrination, employing various psychological techniques to shape their followers' beliefs and identities. They create an us-versus-them mentality, isolating individuals from their former support networks. Through repetitive rituals, mind-altering practices, and the manipulation of language, they instill an unquestioning loyalty to the group and its leader. This powerful indoctrination can override an individual's moral compass, leading them down a path they never imagined. In our exploration of cult psychology, we now turn our attention to the power of indoctrination. Cult leaders possess a profound understanding of human psychology, utilizing a range of techniques to shape the beliefs and identities of their followers. Through these methods, they establish a strong sense of loyalty and obedience within the group, ultimately leading individuals down a path they may never have imagined. One of the key tactics employed by cult leaders is the creation of an us versus them mentality. By isolating their followers from their former support networks, such as family, friends, or mainstream society, cult leaders effectively sever ties to alternative perspectives and information. This isolation intensifies the sense of belonging to the group and fosters an environment where dissenting views are discouraged or even punished. To further solidify the group's identity, Cult leaders implement repetitive rituals and mind-altering practices. These rituals serve multiple purposes. First, they create a sense of unity and shared experience among the followers. Second, they reinforce the leader's authority and enhance the perception of the group's importance and superiority. Third, they create a strong emotional bond. As individuals invest their time, energy, and emotions into the rituals, making it increasingly difficult to disengage from the group. The manipulation of language is another powerful tool used in indoctrination. Cult leaders employ loaded language, creating a unique vocabulary within the group that reinforces their ideology and suppresses critical thinking. By redefining words or assigning new meanings to them, they control and restrict the followers' thoughts, limiting their ability to question or challenge the leader's teachings. This linguistic manipulation can be so pervasive that it alters the followers' perception of reality, further strengthening their devotion to the group. Over time, the combination of isolation, repetitive rituals, and linguistic manipulation erodes an individual's critical thinking abilities and weakens their moral compass. Cult leaders instill an unquestioning loyalty to themselves and their ideology, fostering a belief system that supersedes conventional ethics and morality. This process can be so insidious that individuals become willing to commit criminal acts in the name of the group, blindly following the leader's commands without considering the consequences or questioning the ethical implications. It is essential to recognize that anyone can be susceptible to indoctrination, given the right circumstances and manipulative tactics. Understanding the power of indoctrination equips us with the knowledge needed to protect ourselves and others from falling prey to cult psychology. By promoting critical thinking, encouraging open dialogue, and nurturing a society that values diverse perspectives, we can create a resilient and informed community that resists the influence of manipulative individuals. Breaking free from the grip of indoctrination can be a challenging and courageous journey. It requires individuals to rediscover their autonomy, rebuild their critical thinking skills, and reconnect with their innate moral compass. Support systems, such as counseling, therapy, and peer groups, can play a vital role in assisting individuals on this path to recovery. By shedding light on the power of indoctrination, we empower individuals to question, to think critically, and to reclaim their autonomy. Together, we can build a society that values independent thought, fosters resilience against manipulation, 
and upholds the principles of empathy, compassion, and ethical conduct. As we continue our exploration of cult psychology, we now turn our attention to a phenomenon known as cognitive dissonance and how it contributes to the perpetuation of criminal acts within cults. So, join me as we delve into research point 3. Cognitive dissonance and justification. Research point 3. Cognitive dissonance and justification. Another crucial aspect of cult psychology is the phenomenon known as cognitive dissonance. When individuals find themselves holding conflicting beliefs or engaging in behaviors that contradict their core values, they experience intense psychological discomfort. Cult leaders capitalize on this discomfort, providing justifications and rationalizations that alleviate the dissonance. By distorting reality and controlling the narrative, they create a distorted moral framework that enables their followers to commit acts they would have otherwise found abhorrent. Cognitive dissonance is a powerful psychological concept that plays a significant role in the perpetuation of criminal acts within cults. When individuals find themselves in a state of cognitive dissonance, they experience a deep psychological discomfort resulting from conflicting beliefs, values, or behaviors. This discomfort arises when their actions or beliefs clash with their pre-existing notions of right and wrong, causing a profound sense of inner turmoil. Cult leaders are well aware of this psychological phenomenon and skillfully exploit it to their advantage. They create an environment where followers are encouraged to engage in behaviors that contradict their moral compass. By promoting and normalizing these behaviors within the group, the leaders effectively reduce the dissonance experienced by their followers. To accomplish this, cult leaders employ various strategies of justification and rationalization. They manipulate the narrative, distorting reality and providing explanations that alleviate the followers' discomfort. These justifications often revolve around a sense of higher purpose, emphasizing that the ends justify the means or that the group's actions are necessary for achieving a greater good. Through repetitive indoctrination and group reinforcement, cult leaders establish a distorted moral framework within the minds of their followers. They redefine what is right and wrong, blurring the lines between ethical and unethical behavior. This process can be so effective that followers may come to genuinely believe that the criminal acts they commit are not only justified but necessary for the greater good of the group or for their own salvation. Moreover, cognitive dissonance is reinforced by the sense of social cohesion and camaraderie within the cult. As individuals witness others engaging in the same morally questionable actions, it creates a group norm that further reduces their dissonance. This normalization of deviant behavior reinforces the followers' commitment to the group and their willingness to continue down a path they would have previously found abhorrent. Breaking free from cognitive dissonance requires individuals to challenge the justifications provided by the cult leader and critically evaluate their own beliefs and values. This process is often incredibly difficult, as it requires a complete upheaval of one's worldview and a willingness to confront uncomfortable truths. Support systems, such as therapy, counseling, or exit counseling, can play a crucial role in helping individuals navigate the complex process of dissonance resolution. These resources provide a safe space for individuals to explore their conflicting beliefs, challenge the distorted narratives, and rebuild their moral compass based on their authentic values. By understanding the power of cognitive dissonance and its manipulation within cults, we empower individuals to recognize when their beliefs and actions are in conflict. By promoting critical thinking, encouraging self-reflection, and fostering a society that values personal integrity and moral reasoning, we can provide a strong foundation for individuals to resist and overcome the influence of cognitive dissonance. Remember, it is never too late to break free from the clutches of cognitive dissonance. By reclaiming our autonomy, embracing critical thinking, and aligning our actions with our true values, we can build a world where manipulation finds no fertile ground, and criminal acts are not justified or condoned. As we progress on our journey through the intricate world of cult psychology, we now arrive at our next destination, the exploration of fear and coercion. Join me as we delve into research point 4 and unravel the mechanisms behind fear-based manipulation within cults. Research point 4. Fear and Coercion. Fear is a potent tool employed by cult leaders to maintain control over their followers. Through threats, intimidation, and manipulation of information, they create an environment of constant anxiety and apprehension. 
This fear-driven atmosphere stifles independent thinking and keeps individuals trapped within the cult's grasp. Breaking free from this cycle requires immense courage and an unwavering desire for freedom. Research Point 5. The Path to Recovery. Fortunately, there is hope for those who have fallen victim to cults and for society as a whole. Understanding the psychology behind manipulation is the first step towards prevention and recovery. By raising awareness, promoting critical thinking, and fostering open dialogue, we can empower individuals to resist the allure of charismatic figures who seek to exploit their vulnerabilities. As we continue our exploration of cult psychology, we must not overlook the path to recovery for those who have fallen victim to the influence of cults. Fortunately, there is hope for individuals who have experienced manipulation and for society as a whole. By understanding the psychological mechanisms at play and implementing preventive measures, we can empower individuals to resist the allure of charismatic figures who seek to exploit their vulnerabilities. The first step towards recovery is awareness. By educating ourselves and others about the tactics employed by cult leaders, we can shed light on the subtle methods of manipulation. Knowledge becomes a powerful shield against the deceptive practices used by these individuals. Through awareness, we can recognize the warning signs, identify red flags, and better understand the vulnerabilities that make individuals susceptible to manipulation. Critical thinking plays a pivotal role in the recovery process. By encouraging individuals to question information, think independently, and evaluate claims based on evidence, we empower them to resist manipulation. Cult leaders often discourage critical thinking and encourage blind obedience. By promoting a culture of critical thinking, we equip individuals with the tools necessary to recognize and challenge manipulative tactics. Open dialogue is another crucial aspect of recovery. Providing a safe space for survivors to share their experiences, express their emotions, and seek support is vital. Support groups, therapy, counseling, and peer networks can be instrumental in helping individuals process their experiences, rebuild their sense of self, and navigate the challenges of recovery. The empathetic understanding and validation received from others who have been through similar experiences can be tremendously healing. Rebuilding one's sense of self and personal identity is a central component of the recovery journey. Cults often strip individuals of their autonomy, replacing their sense of self with the group identity. It is essential for survivors to rediscover their own values, beliefs, and passions, separate from the influence of the cult. Through self-reflection, self-care practices, and reconnecting with their authentic selves, individuals can gradually reclaim their personal agency and establish a solid foundation for their recovery. Support from family and friends is invaluable during the recovery process. Loved ones should provide a non-judgmental and compassionate environment for survivors to share their experiences and rebuild trust. Patience, understanding, and unconditional support are key in helping individuals heal from the trauma of their involvement with a cult. Prevention is equally important as recovery. By creating a society that fosters resilience against manipulation, we can protect individuals from falling prey to cults. Education programs, both within schools and community organizations, can provide information about the tactics used by cult leaders and promote critical thinking skills. Encouraging healthy relationships, teaching emotional intelligence, and nurturing a sense of belonging and purpose can also act as preventive measures against vulnerability to manipulation. Recovering from the influence of a cult is a journey that requires time, patience, and support. It is crucial to approach the process with empathy and understanding, recognizing the profound impact that manipulation can have on an individual psyche. By fostering an environment of compassion and support, we can empower survivors to reclaim their lives, heal from their experiences, and move forward with resilience and strength. Remember, each individual possesses an inherent strength that can guide them towards recovery. By raising awareness, promoting critical thinking, and fostering a society that values personal autonomy and emotional well-being, we can create a world where manipulation finds no fertile ground. Together, we can empower survivors, prevent further victimization, and create a society that champions individual freedom, personal growth, and genuine human connection. As our exploration of cult psychology nears its end, 
we have uncovered profound insights into the dynamics of manipulation and its impact on individuals and society. But our journey doesn't end here. In our final segment, we will reflect on the lessons learned and discuss the importance of empathy, compassion, and open-mindedness in creating a world free from the clutches of cult psychology. Conclusion As we conclude our exploration of cult psychology, we are reminded of the power of knowledge and the importance of staying vigilant. By shedding light on this topic, we hope to inspire you, our viewers, to question, to analyze, and to think critically. Together, we can create a world where manipulation and criminal acts find no fertile ground. Remember, each of us has the power to resist and to protect ourselves and others from falling into the clutches of manipulation. Let us foster empathy, understanding, and compassion for those who have been ensnared in the web of cults, and let us work towards creating a society that promotes individuality, free thought, and personal growth. Thank you for joining me on this enlightening journey into the depths of cult psychology. Until next time, my friends, keep exploring, keep seeking, and keep shining a light on the darkest corners of the human mind. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, let us know in the comments below if there are any other intriguing topics you'd like us to explore in the future. Together, we can continue to inspire and uplift one another. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.